Today's top EU stories from the unit website include Michael Heseltine presses Cameron to stop dithering on Europe. Butt out Barrack, Britain's relationship with the EU is none of your business. Today's sacrificial cashback offering on the altar of federalism, Kosovo, come on down. EU looks to hasten preparations for EU military mission to Mali. Finally, EU redrafts bank rescue funding plan. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. The fault lines are really beginning to show as our wilting Westminster washout dilly and dally about what to do about the EU. Surely this is a simple issue. Should UK people have the power to decide what's best for them in their country? Or would they prefer to have it dictated to them from Brussels? Whilst Mr Cameron dithers around about repatriating powers from Brussels, Mr Heseltine has been outing his opinion in public, warning David Cameron not to take a punt by holding a referendum. I think Mr Heseltine will find that the punt has been discontinued in Ireland since its assimilation into the euro and subsequent total collapse of its economy. This is a great article. The USA has begun its campaign to urge Britain to stay inside the EU. This article looks at the spheres of influence being applied by the US in regard to the UK-EU question. It's also worth considering that whilst the Eurozone fiscal crisis continues, this makes European bonds look like a risky bet and pushes market investors to continue buying US treasuries. Certainly a desirable scenario for a US that's blown its budget, careered over the fiscal cliff and could find itself unable to pay state bills as early as February unless the debt ceiling can be raised. Interestingly, lifting the debt ceiling will require US Treasuries to look attractive in the global marketplace, something that will not be the case if the Eurozone fiscal problems are resolved. They're back at it again. Our bureaucratic buffoons have pledged another 65 million euros at Mr Draghi's expense. Wow, you can tell it's the January sales. The Eurozone ECB charge card has never seen so much action. This time, the Euro bonus cash prize goes to Kosovo. The full details can be found via the links below. Catherine Ashton announced on Friday that the European Union will speed up preparations to send a team to Mali to train the country's army after Islamist rebels seized the strategic northern town of Kona. As I mentioned last week, the interest in Africa is hotting up and there is contention between the USA, EU and China to secure strongholds over resources in the African regions. You can expect the EU involvement throughout Africa to deepen and as always, we'll keep you posted on the action and intention as it unfolds. Your zone countries facing Irish-style bank collapses will still have to shoulder a large portion of future bailouts if they want to receive any aid from the Eurozone's 500 billion euro rescue fund. This article looks at the plans circulated last year and at the action being taken via the European Stability Mechanism. Now, the European Stability Mechanism, or ESM, has been a cause of serious concern here at the unit as it is a quasi-governmental organisation with supreme powers over member nations and carries with it legal immunity for itself and those who work for it. Below, I have put additional links to our video regarding the European Stability Mechanism. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we do particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.